Hello, everyone. I'm in Miami today on my tour. It's the end of January. I've been watching what's happening in Canada over the last 10 days, let's say, or months before that too, wondering what's going on and trying to think it through. I thought I'd make a video today, message to Premier Scott Moe and Jason Kenney and Doug Ford and leader of Her Majesty's loyal opposition, Aaron O'Toole, and ask you guys, what in the world are you waiting for? It's your moment. You've got a huge number of Canadians occupying Ottawa, expressing their dismay with the suspension of our charter rights in the face of this so-called emergency. Our prime minister has literally abandoned the city, run away, as far as I can tell, citing security concerns because I think he believes his own propaganda about the nature of the people who are sitting in Ottawa and then lying about it, justifying it as a consequence of being exposed to COVID despite the fact he's double vaccinated and tested negative. You're not going to get a better opportunity. This is your moment, conservatives in Canada. You could come out and say to the population, say to the people who are desperate to hear this, that we can have our lives return to normal and that there's still some danger, but that we've got this with competent leadership and care. We could return our lives to what they should be. We could have our country back. We could move forward into the future in a normal manner. So gentlemen, Premier Scott Moe, Jason Kenney, Doug Ford, you're good men. Aaron O'Toole, you're the leader of the opposition. Man, even the NDP leader came out and said that the truckers were essentially a bunch of white supremacists for, for all intents and purposes. The opposition, your opposition, our government is in disarray. And the people are doing everything they can to make their wants known. Guys, reassure Canadians. Remove these mandates that are crippling our businesses and interfering with our private lives and stopping us from being able to travel. Seize the day.